So this is a very boring looking shot. However, it's super exciting because mason bees are clamoring for a cell in the bee houses, the, these mason bee houses I've put out. This is the first year I've had them up and I'm so excited to see them. Just loving it and so many things you have to be attentive to with mason bees. You can't just put up a house and then let it go. You need to provide a, a damp mud source for them so that they can use that to plug the holes. <laughs> Look at this, it's awesome. <gasps> they can plug the holes uh, after they put their eggs in the cells. And certainly you can do this just by having a shallow dish with some soil and water in it that they can pick up. These guys are just so, so happy. I've got over here, I've got a source for them for some mud just on top of one of my water barrels. Put some water in some soil clumps so they can access that. And then there are loads and loads of flowers in bloom and they are happily pollinating those so there's some bok choy that's going to seed some arugula that's going to seed and of course there are some dandelions and loads of color out front so i am just super 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 excited yeah if you decide that you want to start help nurturing mason bees please read about them and about the housing guidelines for them as in what really is protective and nurturing for them as opposed to what can be harmful lots of good stuff online and uh, know your sources your extension offices are great. You need to, for example, in addition to providing the mud, you also need to be sure and clean out each cell every fall. And the placement is very important of where you put the houses, etc., etc. So have fun help support the mason bees and pollinators. These are great pollinators. Happy gardening. Happy connecting with the earth. <laughs>